Now this happened late on the 4th around 11:30. It was downtown but in an area that was fairly deserted at the time. This woman was just grateful to be alive after the attack. It happened along this stretch of Main Street late at night when the road was empty and she was out walking alone. And I was like, I gotta get off this road. It was already too late. And he was like, where are you going? Can we hang out? What are you gonna do tonight? He only wanted me. That was the goal. Cherokee Broderson says she was approached by a stranger who wanted her to go with him. He just looked like a, a normal guy. That was like the creepiest part. And he wouldn't take no for an answer. Instead of walking with me, then he got in front and like flashed his gun. I said, well, you're gonna have to just shoot me right now because I'm not getting in your car. And then he took his gun and shot it off in the air. From there, it became a life or death struggle. And then he hit me behind my ear with the gun. <laughs> Broderson's screams were captured by one of the surveillance cameras in the area as the unknown man tried to drag her by the hair toward his car. Finally, he gave up and ran. My eye socket is broken, my jaw is fractured. The attack not only took a toll on her body, but on her psyche. Walking around in the dark is never gonna be the same. As Broderson fears what could still be around the corner. I don't know if he's trying to find me or what. She finds strength in sharing her story and hope that somehow that stranger will be caught. I'm not just gonna go away. <laughs> I didn't deserve it. Well, beyond what you saw in the story, Broderson is describing her attacker as on the short side, stocky with sandy blonde hair and a short beard. Could be roughly 30 years old. If anybody has information, they're asked to call Salt Lake City Police. Thank you. Yeah, I can't imagine. I hope they track this guy down. All right, Andrew, thank you. <laughs>